When I was a kid, I was uh, 10 years old, and I was taking swimming lessons in Whitehaven at the Thomas B. Davis YMCA. So my mother and I would uh, always drive over there a couple of three times a week to go to swimming lessons. One day we drove by Graceland, and lo and behold, Elvis and Priscilla were sitting out in front of the house uh, riding their horses. And Priscilla, this is when she had her great big beautiful black beehive hair and he was really pumped up. And Elvis was, uh, couldn't look any better and they were out there having fun, enjoying their lives together. And I got my mom to stop the car, pulled across the street, ran across the street, went right through the gate, walked right up to the, the horses and Elvis. And there were a couple of people there and we were telling uh, Elvis stories. and. They were signing some autographs, so I was like, God, what can I get? I gotta get an autograph. What can I get him to sign? Because I didn't have anything. Then I remembered that in my wallet, my little 10 year old wallet, I had a picture of Elvis Presley that uh, my neighbor had uh, worked at a photography studio and, and made some copies of a, a photograph that somebody had brought in to get processed. So I had that picture, but being the cornball that I am, I'd already autographed it to Ron, your best friend Elvis, and wrote the big E and wrote it out real big had that in my wallet. Well, I handed Elvis the picture. I thought, man, how lucky I got his picture. How many people at 10 are walking around with a picture of Elvis in their wallet? I did. So he looked at the picture, thought it was pretty cool. It was him leaning black and white shot up against a motorcycle. He flips it over and sees my fake autograph on there, laughs out loud, gets a big chuckle out of it, and writes down, you know, signs that Elvis Presley over the top of it, hands it back to me. I go back to the car. I'm floating on a cloud, and that autograph is somewhere in a trash pile somewhere in Memphis as we speak along with all my baseball cards because it went in the cigar box that went in the drawer that disappeared and, and never to be seen again. That's a sad, sad, sad story. <laughs>